yeah, I just love this place, but there is this, there is this one really big problem. Hello guys, my name is Doak and in the beginning of the last year I decided to do something big. I decided to move into a new space and build an ultimate creative studio. Today is almost one year later and well, it's finished. Also, thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring of this video. So right now I'm gonna take you on a tour of my artistic wonderland. I'm gonna show you everything, all the setups, all the details, but also all the problems. We will also make a one year comparison because as some of you might remember, this place one year ago was a mess. If you get a feeling during a tour that there is something missing, something what you would add into my space, definitely let me know about it in the comments below. Shall we begin? I should start this tour with a brief overview of the property. So we have the garden, the garage and the house, which consists of floor number one, number two and number three. For a better orientation, take a look from above. So we will start the tour with the garage, because it is the first thing that you see when you enter the property, and also it is the probably only place that didn't really change. We use it as a storage area, and the only interesting thing over here is my legendary motorbike. Babeta, she still works perfectly. I love her. There is no electricity, no light, and it's not really a cozy place to be. Below the garage, we have this additional storage area for gardening stuff, and also I keep my painting leather over here. Anyways, before we move on, take a look at one year comparison of the garage. I promise that all the next comparisons will be much more interesting. In the next step, we move into a garden where we have done quite a lot of stuff. The only problem is that it's winter and it looks kind of sad over here. This place is so lovely during summertime, although it takes some work to maintain it. However, let's pretend that it's summer for a while. There is a new plateau with a cozy couch for the summer parties, another plateau with two chairs dedicated to grill parties, Sun bathing deck made for, well, sun bathing. Compost, a lot of brand new plants. Just take a look at the comparison. So that was the garden and right now it's time to move inside. As you walk into the property you turn right and you get to the terrace number one. From the terrace number one you get to the floor number one. This floor of the building is not fully built yet but it will be mostly used as a kitchen and sleeping area. So yeah floor number one and it's room numero uno and numero due. I should mention that I'll be sharing this place with my family and this floor will be mostly dedicated to, to the family stuff or party stuff. You have a little kitchen with water. It's not fully built yet. And maybe in the future there will be a table over here. But so far we use it as a storage. These are pillows for the couch in the party area outside. And if we want to talk about 
these. Uh, you know, there are windows behind this polystyrene. And for the winter time, we had to cover them so it's not so cold down here. As I walk to the second room, I have to mention all the work that we have done over here because you don't notice that immediately. Electricity, we had to replace. What's the name of this? We call it Zastrčka and Vipinač. You know? Also, there are new lamps and the floor. The floor in this room used to be really messy and smelly and blah, just foy. And the way how we solved it is uh, something what's called concrete color. We painted the floor with this color and it's really nice. It's easy to clean, super durable. It's just a great solution. And also a cheap solution. <laughs> and this is the second room where we have a bed. This is actually a bed that I used to have in my kid's room like 24 years ago. At the moment it's not really a bed, more of a storage area, but that will change in the summer. And then there is this corner with a water heater, a sink for cleaning, my fishing gear, and we also have a toilet right next to us. So yeah, not much use for this space right now, but in the summer, that's gonna be a whole different story. And right now, take a look at the comparison. This one should be really interesting. Let's move from the floor number one to the floor number two. To do that, we have to go outside, walk the stairs, and through the pre-hall, we get into my kingdom. My painting studio, which starts with a hall and a toilet, and continues with the main room. Just as I said, right now we walk into my kingdom, which starts with a pre-hall and a shelf. The first part of my system because there is a system in this in this floor also on the third floor uh, this is really a stuff that i don't really know where to put this is a food for cats uh you know there's a little story uh we found the cat we took the cat over here because we wanted to save the cat and we bought this food for the cat but we also have a dog and when the cat met snow it just disappeared forever actually it was the very first day when we brought the cat so we keep the food so maybe the cat will come back maybe one day and the last thing on this shelf the most important one is the lamp and the system starts this is a place where i change my shoes for the slippers this bucket is here on purpose because it holds the doors. As we continue this way, this is my spray paint setup. The first setup of my studio. You know, I go painting like twice a week. I always have a ton of stuff with me and every single time when I go painting again, I have to repack everything, choose everything once again, all the colors. So I wanted to have my spray paint set up at the most convenient spot possible, right next to the entrance or exit. Everything what I could possibly need for a painting on a wall is sitting over here. Let me show you that in detail. So let's say that I go painting. Well, what do I do? First of all, I take this Tiski bucket. All Polish guys love it when I use it. I put it over here and it's ready for the cans. Also, I take the respirator, which is a thing that I always take with me. I put it into my bag. I take the bag, I put it down here and I'm ready to pick the colors. All my spray paint is sorted into multiple areas. These are cans that I've already used, so they are not 
full. Over here I have full cans but just white and black. These are some used caps. If we move down here this is a shelf dedicated to full cans and also this shelf down here is dedicated to full cans only. So most of the time I pick the full cans if I have some used cans that have the same color, I take them as well, like this. I have gray and red, so I find some used red and gray cans. I put them over here. I take white, I take black most of the time. And boom, I have my colors. Then I think, what else I need? I have all the cans, but maybe I'll need a brush or I'll need this thing or maybe a piece of cardboard. This shelf over here is dedicated to accessories like tape, brushes, water for the background color, which is located all the way down here. This is a shelf dedicated just to background colors. The shelf above it is dedicated to rollers and empty bags and also some cleaning stuff. This is a shelf with a special spray paint. These are water-based cans. These are all kinds of weird or different cans. And these over here are special cans like clear coat for canvases and some other cans dedicated to canvases. Over here, I got some bags if I need more carry-on. At the side of the shelf, I have a small ladder, sticks for the roller, three of them. And if we want to talk about the upper parts, well, I'm not so proud of it because this, uh, this is a tent. Why do I have a tent over here? Well, because I have basically no other space where to put it. This crate, I use this crate if this, this is not enough. And these, these are some of my old canvases from the old studio. I used to have this all on a wall. Right now, I don't really know what to do with it. So yeah, hey, I have my cans. I put them into crate. I take a roller. I close the upper part. The lower part of the bag, as you can see, is always full of caps. Also, I have my winter gloves here and regular gloves. Always in the bag, always ready for action. If I have more spray paint, I put it into this lower part of the bag. I close the bag, put it on the crate, move it, take a background color, take a stick and I'm ready to go. And that's my painting shelf. Everything I need for a painting. And right next to my painting setup is um, my, my kitchen, simple kitchen. <laughs> But I basically have everything what I need over here. This is for making coffee and tea. This is where I heat up my food. And this is a fridge. Yeah, a fridge. I keep the dishes over here. Coffee, tea, water. And basically that's it. If we look under my kitchen, this is a vacuum. Yeah, I guess that it's a vacuum. I use it quite a lot, so it's at this really reachable place, always ready to use. Over there, old pieces of clothing when I need to clean something, some other cleaning stuff. That's the hall. From the hall we move to my toilet. You know, there's a shower, there's a toilet, there's a sink when I clean my brushes. Nothing really interesting. Shall we move to the best part? From the hall we get into my main kingdom. This is the place where I spend most of my time. This is the place where I work. And yeah, let me show you all the features of the room. I have to definitely start at my desk. This is a place where I sit, write scripts, I do researches, I draw, I paint, I do almost everything. The accessories of my table are this great light over here, which I can adjust in so many ways. Uh, this is an arm. If I draw something on the table, I put my camera over here 
and I can move it wherever I want. JBL speaker. Frankly, I was thinking about some serious stereo system for this place, but this is also my carry-on speaker for the paintings, two-in-one. Clock on the table with the current temperature in the studio. Another feature of this table is that I can put it up and also put it down. There's one more thing in this area, these curtains. And behind them, there are windows, new windows. You know, in order to keep this place warm and just better, we have put new windows into the studio over here. But also the entrance to the terrace number two is brand new. And these curtains are also really, really important. I got them over here because of the sound. They improve the sound quality in the studio. Because when I sit over here and I talk to them, the sound doesn't bounce back. You might remember this whiteboard from my old studio. I actually never use it. I don't really know why, but it's here if I ever need it. Below the whiteboard, it's Snow's place. This is a place where Snow should lay and rest, although he never really go there. And from the whiteboard, we get into my second setup, or actually third setup, because this is this is like overall setup. Never mind. This is where I keep my painting gear and drawing gear. This is where I keep my acrylic colors and all the stuff dedicated to painting canvases. Brushes, this thing, colors, and so on. Over here I have the rulers. This is accessory for drawing. Scissors, something what I use really frequently. These are actually caps from spray paints, but they are really good for use of color. This is a place dedicated to acrylic markers, from big ones to the smallest ones. All my acrylic markers are over here, sorted in these Molotov sorters or whatever it is. Next to them, I have some crap markers, the markers that I use for, I don't know, whatever. Next to them, I have my alcohol-based markers, the StyleFi markers, also this box is full of alcohol markers. And next to them, I have pencils for drawing, fine liners for fine lining stuff, some other markers, erasers, sharpening tool with a little trash can, colorful fine liners, water-based markers, colorful pencils, a box with all the weird stuff, some office accessories, coins for the tripods. This is all I need for drawing on a paper or painting on a canvas. Above the table, I have screwdrivers, all kinds that you could possibly need, super convenient. If we look underneath the table, there is a ball that I use because sometimes my back hurts. And also there is this chair with a hoodie, a hoodie that I use if I don't want to get messy. And the purpose of this chair is that I use it when I paint over here, but we will get to this spot a bit later. And yeah, there is also this thing. We'll discuss it a bit later too. If we move this way, we find another shelf and the trash. This is where I recycle paper. This is a normal trash can. And this is a shelf dedicated to hardware stuff. And this is a place where I keep all my tapes, gloves and sandpaper. This is my play button for 100K subscribers. And these two shelves are dedicated to tools that I might use. I don't want to have them hidden somewhere. I just want to take them, use them and put them back. Some fixing stuff for the walls. This is a heat gun that I use for my canvases sometimes. Electric screwdriver, vrtačka, and that's it. The last shelf in this room, which I use for boxes and some documents. These are my sketches, all the A4 sketches. 
Whenever I make some sketch at the table and I don't need it anymore, it ends up over here. These are my big sketches. This is a shelf dedicated to clean paper and canvases. I have all kinds of paper over here. Classical paper for watercolors, canvases, even some sketchbooks with different kinds of paper. Really big papers. If I want to start a drawing, I go over here. Underneath, this is like a shelf with uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, this box is full of all kinds of stuff. But don't worry, I know what's in there. Like everything was in there. And the last shelf is all about the things that you sent me to my Pia box, stickers and the light. And I almost forgot that some bigger canvases that I have, the clean ones are over here. And right next to this shelf, I have my acrylic painting setup. You know, this is a stand for, for big canvases and I keep the finished canvases on it because I don't use it that often. And when I see them over here, it motivates me to make another one. I take the stand, I put it over here. I take this chair, which is something like a table for me where I keep all my brushes, water, everything I need for painting canvases. I take the mentioned chair and boom, ready to paint a canvas. If I work with a spray paint, which is not water-based and it smells bad, I can always open the terrace, take the stand, put it over here, do the dirty and smelly jobs at this place. Yep, I just love this place, but there is this there's this one really big problem. And the problem is that it's freaking cold in here. Just look at me. I look like a snowman. Yeah. You know, in this whole building, there is nothing like a, like a heating system. There is just electricity, which is quite expensive. And I bought this, this electricity radiator, which I combine with this heater you just turn it on and it immediately gives you hot air but frankly this thing was turned on for about hour and the temperature in the studio is like uh, eight degrees if i turn this radiator on for about like 24 hours i can get i can get decent temperatures in this room but only in this room not in the hall not in the floor number two or three, just over here. Anyways, let's move on to the last floor, the floor numero three. But before that, take a look at the comparison. get to the floor number three through the hall, pre-hall and the stairs. This place is something like a party slash chill spot slash my extended workspace spot. I've also tested out this place with my friends and you know, it's a great place for parties. During summer, it's also a great place to just chill out. Not right now, frankly, because it's like one degree of Celsius over here. But yeah, hey, just as I told you, I also have my extended studio over here. Behind this bar, I got a table where I can easily edit my videos. And then there is, then there is this part, which I don't really want to show you closely. Yeah, this part is about second big project that I prepared for the last year. Unfortunately, unlike the studio, I couldn't finish the second one. But hopefully in the next few months, we will get there. I also keep my electronic stuff in this shelf over here. See, 
So if I want to edit my videos or I want to do some other not painting related stuff, I do it over here. So, this is my kingdom, this is the place where I'm already working and freezing. <laughs> and guys, if you're missing something over here, floor number one, two, free garden, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have some ideas. And yeah, hey, I hope you enjoyed the tour and right now it's time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is a company that can help you with your online presentation. Let's say that you're an artist just like me. With Squarespace, you can build your own website or even an e-shop where you can present your work. With their customizable galleries, it's really easy. You don't even need to edit all your photos to look good next to each other. They have all the scaling. And you also don't need to care about updating all your social media all the time because Squarespace has an easy auto posting and also importing. So you can keep your Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and your website updated all the time. If something goes wrong, Squarespace has 24-7 email service, which is quite handy when something doesn't work and you're just like, <sighs> they will help you. So if you need an online store or a website, definitely try it out. Head to squarespace.com, check out their free trial. And if you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash dogtv, where you will get a 10% off your first purchase. All right. Good luck with your business, guys, and yeah. It's been a long year. It's been a lot of work, a ton of work, but yeah. Here we go today, it's done. Not every single detail, but it just feels good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, thumb up would be awesome, and yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.